Introducing Python. Python is a rapid development uh, programming language that allows you in a very short period of time to write sophisticated programs. Python makes it easy for people to be creative because again you don't have to uh, weigh yourself down with meaningless details. You can focus on the problem that you want to solve, the thing that you want to create. We don't want programmers to be in charge of the world. We want humans to be in charge of the world. Not that programmers aren't humans, but we want to turn control and power over from the programmers to the people that are actually adding all the value on the web, which is authors, for instance, people who think HTML is a programming language. Python is a very good fit for that. I think I counted once and discovered that I could write at least 14 different programming languages fluently, and there are a bunch of others that I've forgotten. And um, Python is of all the languages I've learned the one that does the least to get between me and the problem. It's the most effective for translating pure thought into action. Well, Python is a high-level language. The distance between what you want to accomplish and where you're starting from is smaller than it is in other languages so you can get more done in less time and have more fun doing it. That's what I would say Python's main advantage is for people of any age, even professional programmers. Python made a lot of sense, just, you know, to read through it, I mean literally, to read through the, the program, you could almost see as everything went. Some computer languages simply amplify the kind of thinking that you already do. Some computer languages teach you fundamentally new ways of looking at problems. Python is like lisp in that it tends to teach you new ways of thinking about problems to broaden your mental horizons. We began using Python at Yorktown High School two and a half years ago when we needed a replacement for Pascal as an introductory programming language. After investigating many programming languages we settled on Python and Python has been successful in that regard beyond our wildest expectations. I get emails from people who are in high school or in junior high and who ask how do I learn to program? Uh, how do I become a hacker? Is Python a good language to learn? And I try as best as I can to, to send replies and often I, I, I give someone like one URL, just start downloading this thing and here's the tutorial or here's the best tutorial for your situation. And people write me back one day later, wow this is exciting, thank you so much for uh, for giving me that, that, that little start. I, I feel that they really, with, with very little help, just one or two URLs, people can start learning Python. Let the snake be your teacher. I wasn't aiming at all at using Python for educational purposes. However, I had kept so many of the original ABC features that other people who picked up Python for their own use realized that it, it actually had potential in education very quickly and you know, I, I, I don't remember the date but I think in 1993 uh, I started getting email from people who were, start, who were teaching Python to their like six or eight year old children. I see a dramatic difference uh, in their ability to learn programming. They can, they can learn with more success there are less stumbling blocks in terms of difficult syntax and Python, Python also being an interpreted language has a development environment that allows for immediate feedback. You can actually start the interpreter and ask the kind of what if questions that are essential to, to learning to program. Well certainly for learning programming Python is a really good choice because Without Python, you, you, tend, you tend to get bogged down in a lot of details that are not important for your problem. So if you want to understand how uh, software works, you know, Python's a, a good choice. Our, our teacher really liked the idea of incorporating a fashion idea into computer science because he had never really seen anything um, that was so girly in computer science. Um, so, I mean, girls can do it. They can make web pages. They can work with Python. 
Yeah, I got a kick out of it. You know, it's kind of fun to be able to see, especially the web page, to s actually see what you're changing and making something create like pretty. The fact that it's easy to learn means that it, it can spread like a virus because you can teach somebody in an afternoon. Somebody who's a professional programmer or, or who has some experience in programming languages can learn it in you know enough to be productive in no time. Um, and once they've done that, then they start. They have an easy progression to the power of Python. And once they've learned, you know, picked up on the power of it and seen the the wealth of uh, libraries, they can map that to their problem domain very easily. So it, it's very flexible. Python is powerful. Of all the languages I've dealt with, it seems to have the widest range of application in that it's both suitable for early use by novices and also heavy duty use by professionals for large scale projects. Most other languages um, don't negotiate that trade off well. They tend to be either good introductory languages that don't scale up or good languages for large complex programs that are too difficult for novices to acquire. Um, Python plays well in both those roles. Unlike other languages like Perl, Python does scale up into very large scale problems. We have this thing called Zope, which is an application server, database server, index server, web server, etc. Very large scale commercial quality application written in Python. Well, long before we envisioned developing Zope, when, when I first joined the company and we were thinking about our software development strategy, we considered um, using Java instead of Python, and we, we realized that, that Python was a competitive advantage. Um, it, it's, you can develop programs much faster in Python because it's a higher level language and, uh, and it's a very clean, easy language, and so we could, we could be a lot more competitive than other companies who were writing with Java or even at that time with, with languages like C++ or Perl. Building Linux kernels is a complicated problem. You have to deal with all kinds of funny constraints between selecting different features. I wanted to make it easier. And uh, using Python, I was able to write a system that actually has a theorem prover, a sort of artificial intelligence inside it, that can make deductions about the choices that you're trying to make and deduce side effects and tell you when you have an inconsistent configuration. Uh, and the interesting thing is that Python is so expressive that I was able to fit the user interface code uh, and this artificial intelligence sort of construct in less than 5,000 lines of code.